Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jeb Smith, Coldwell Banker Residential Brokerage here in Southern California. And today we're talking about the topic of whether or not you can waive your right to a home inspection when buying a property and using a lender for financing. So does a lender essentially require you to have a home inspection when buying a property? And, you know, I'm going to get to the answer in a moment, but I find this question, you know, a bit peculiar because, you know, the, and the reason for that is because a home inspection is probably the most important inspection you can do on a property. It's probably the most important piece to the puzzle, in my opinion, when representing buyers, because it's really where you find out what is going on with the property, whether it's new construction or whether it's something that's been around a hundred years. A home inspection is very, very important, but let's get to the answer to the question because that's why you, you clicked on the video and the answer is no. A lender does not require you to have a home inspection. You can, whether it's, whether it's VA, whether it's FHA, whether it's conventional, you can actually waive your right as a buyer to do that inspection. But as a buyer's agent, my question to you would be why? Why are you not wanting to do a home inspection? Is it because of money? If it's because of money, then chances are you probably shouldn't be buying a house to begin with because you know the fees on a home inspection are somewhere between $350 and $550 depending on the price of the house. The higher price, uh, you know, uh, the larger luxury properties are, are clearly more expensive than that. But you know, we're talking on the lower end here, just for for purposes of the video. So, if it's a financing thing or, or having money up front, that's something you should consider. But if it's the idea that you can, you think you can purchase a property that has issues and get the lender to finance it, and 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 you know, those issues won't arise or whatever because you're doing a home inspection. Keep in mind, the lender never sees the home inspection. So as a buyer, when doing a home inspection, the inspection goes to you. The lender never sees it. You never send it to them uh, because if you did, it would create other issues. So, but keep in mind that when, when buying a property, if there are issues with the property that you're trying to, to get around, if you will, you know, an appraiser is gonna go out and appraise that property. Remember, the, the appraisal is completely different than the home inspection. And when the appraiser goes out and, and reviews the property to do the measurements and the comparables and what have you, they're gonna take pictures of the property, they're gonna review the property. So if there are issues going on with the property, the appraiser is likely gonna note it anyway. Um, the property has to be in livable condition. It has to be a habitable property, which means it has to have appliances, it has to have a stove, you know, you can't have holes in the walls and the flooring, you know, the roof's gotta be intact, that sort of thing. You know, the heat's gotta work, et cetera. And so, you know, and, and, and Financing like VA, for example, is a little more stringent than say conventional financing. So VA, they go in and look for more specific things when doing appraisals um, that may come up in the home inspection. So, you know, if, if the idea is that you think, you know, by not doing a home inspection that the lender's more likely to finance the property because there's issues with it, the two never really, you know, the, like I mentioned, the inspect, the lender never actually sees the inspection, so that would not be a reason to avoid it either. So, what is the real reason for trying to avoid the home inspection? It is the most important piece of the puzzle. Like I mentioned to start, it is really where you find out what is going on with the property, whether you know, regardless of how old the property is. I recommend that you you do one. Um, so, so the question is why? Why avoid it? Um, uh, oftentimes it comes up to, t to time frames, right? There's not enough time based on how you wrote the offer within your contingency period to get that home inspection done. Make sure when you're working with a real estate agent, a buyer's agent, to write a property that you know you understand your deadlines, your contingency period so that you know what to expect. Make sure that you're working with an agent that you know if you say you want to to not do uh, a home inspection or, or waive that home inspection, that your lender or your real estate agent is talking to you about that um, and, and explaining to you the reasons why you should do it. Um, if an agent just says okay and allows you to waive that home inspection without having a conversation, my suggestion to you would be to find another real estate agent because it is very, very important. A lot of times, you know, buyers go into properties and the property looks very nice. It's a, it's a flip, it's new construction. They don't really see a reason to do an inspection, but that's not a reason 
not to do an inspection. That's all the more reason to do an inspection when everything looks great. You want somebody to go on, you know, to look at all the things that you can't see visually um, and test all the systems in the property. Um, if there's an attic to go in the attic, if there's uh, a raised foundation to go underneath the flooring to check out the property. Again, I'm stressing this because of how important it is um, to actually go through that process of doing an inspection on the property. So whether or not the lender requires it, as a real estate agent, I'm telling you it's important enough for me to make a video on it and talk about it for five minutes, um, which means that you should do it. You should spend the 350, 400, 450, whatever it is, sometimes it's, it's less than that, in order to take those couple of hours to do the inspection so that you can have a list of what's going on with the property. That doesn't mean you have to buy the property at that point. You still have an opportunity to back out um, after that inspection. You also have an opportunity to take what was in that inspection and negotiate it. So if there are repairs that came up in the inspection, now that's a list of items that you can take back to the seller and negotiate for a credit or to have fixed. So it just gives you ammo on your side for another negotiation. You know, the price is the first negotiation. Getting into escrow is the first negotiation. A lot of times the second negotiation is the home inspection. So when items come up on that property, it gives you an opportunity to talk about them, um, to get items fixed, or even if the seller won't fix them, it gives you, you know, the, um, you know, you, it, it, it gives you, you know, I'm drawing a blank here and I'm not gonna cut this, so this is actually gonna be in the video. Um, it gives you you know, the knowledge of what's going on with the property so that when you move in, you know, hey, look, you know, in the inspection, they said that the bathroom sink wasn't working. So I'm not surprised now when I'm getting here that the bathroom sink isn't working. So again, to answer the question, yes, you can, have, you, you can waive the home inspection, but as an agent, I'm telling you to go through the process to get the inspection because it's, it's that important and, um, and don't worry about um, the lender. So if you have additional questions about this, feel free to comment below or contact me directly. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and uh, we'll see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.